How much did she pay you to say? I'm just kidding. I just finished it and that book was really good. Wow. I want to get up closer here. Oh, that's pro I'm sure she's good. I've never really heard of her before. I'm trying to get it on with you. That's the Corporeum Amphitheater. Hey, I decided I'll buy you a cabin. You want to buy this cabin here? Is this the cabin? I think so. Because it has a sign on it. Ferris Colthorpe Cabin. That's a small cabin. I don't know if we're allowed in it, but. This cabin was originally built by Jesse Fares in about 1814, about three miles from this location. Damn it. What? Battery's dead. Battery's dead? Yeah. Oh. Well. Huh. Can you actually go in it? Uh. My sister was trying to get good pictures, but her battery died. So we're probably not going to be able to get that. I know. Oh, yeah. Back then, this was their basements. They would store things down here. No, that wasn't the well, no, but back then, that's where they would store things. Yeah, you should read about it. It's interesting. Something about Pennsylvania. This kind of reminds me of like the village. Remember that movie by the the village? No village. The village. Kind of reminds me of that. have like all these benches here I guess they have bonfires down the road down the hill here looks like they have a river oh there's some horses right there
What do you think of that? What do you think of the uh, cabin there? Good real estate? It's only like 10,000 probably. <laughs> that was the original tiny home. Um, I guess to go this way. Okay, so this is Nation's Ford Road. You are looking down at a portion of the original Nation Ford Road. Erosion and time have just about wiped out any trace of this once great road to the Catawba's Nation Road. Nation Ford Road was the great trading path. Um, by the Treaty of Augusta in 1763, the Catawba's occurred, acquired an area of 144,000 acres, 15 square feet, I mean, 15 square miles, and began to lease it to white men such as John Spring to build his plantation house. Springfield on the... There were dogs Oh, who built his plantation house, Springfield, on this trading path. Springfield now... Leroy Springs and Company Inc. headquarters can be seen on Ant Spring Cove. Now over here. You have this trail. Wow. It started all the way from Pennsylvania. So my sister didn't like the tiny house. So we're going to upgrade her to a a bigger house. Called the Grand Cabin. Now, I know the last house you were complaining about how it was too small. I didn't say it was too small. You did. No, you did. You, no, said, did. you said that you couldn't get a tiny house. But over here... No, I said... Over here... The Grand Cabin. We have a bigger house. I dare you to lick it to see if it tastes like Grand. How much you want to pay me? I didn't say I was paying you. Well, that's not worth it. How do you know? Doesn't it excite you? The thought of how I might be able to taste ram? Yeah, splinters on my tongue are really great. What are you doing? Oh! Billy Graham's grandfather house. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So this is a cabin of the great-grandfather of Billy Graham. Huh? Tell them who Billy Graham is. I wonder what's over there. Tell them who Billy Graham is. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Billy Graham was a, uh, is, was definitely famous from North Carolina, but he was the, uh, he went and televangelist who, um, went on mission trips over, overseas everywhere and was, um, and would evangelize about God, right? Evangelize? I don't know. <laughs> you, I mean, no, you know how to say it better. He was a televangelist. Yeah. He was like on TV and stuff, but in his sermons and stuff. Yeah. Back in my day, we used to sit on the 
porch looking at the beautiful sunset. Back in your day was 1991. What Shut are you up. Talking about?